So here at Minidisc, we're now proud to offer a range of audio players from a crowd favorite manufacturer, Hybe. Hybe's range has something for everyone, from the compact and fully featured R2 and R3 Pro Sabre, up to the more powerful Android-based R5, R6, and R8 flagship players. In this video, I'm gonna give you an overview of the smaller Hybe R2 and R3 Pro Sabre players, which are the entry-level models from the company. These little units are for people who want good quality music playback and long battery life, and they don't need all the bells and whistles of Android apps or high power amplification. The R2 and R3 Pro Sabre pretty much tick all of these boxes. They deliver clean output for portable headphones and earphones, they offer support for a wide range of file formats, and they use a simple drag and drop transfer system with support for up to two terabyte micro SD cards for music storage. The low resolution of the display and the modest CPUs of these players means that you may notice some scrolling delay and less than sharp album artwork, but the OS is well organized and intuitive. Our previous favorite for a small good value audio player was the FIO M3 Pro. The hy V R2 outdoes the FIO by offering Bluetooth 5.0 support and native support for online streaming via Tidal and Cobuzz. Offline playback is not supported on either the R2 or the R3 Pro Saber, so if you are gonna be doing a lot of streaming, you should probably look at the more advanced Android-based options. So what's the difference between the R2 and the R3? Well, the R2 is a great choice if you want a tiny value-priced player for your music library that can still deliver up to 14 hours of playback time from the battery. The R3 Pro Saber kicks it up a notch and offers a couple of features that make it even more versatile. Firstly, the R3 Pro Sabre has a 2.5mm balanced output that delivers up to 280 milliwatts of power, which is enough to drive many full-size headphones with a balanced cable. For instance, the R3 Pro's 2.5mm output easily meets the 200 milliwatt power output spec that Audizy recommends for the Audizy LCD-X. On the other end of the scale, the R3 Pro has excellent low noise outputs, making it a great option for very sensitive earphones like the Campfire Audio Andromeda. The R3 Pro Sabre also works well as a transport, offering a two volt line out mode, USB OTG support, and uniquely coaxial output via USB-C using Hybe's Type-C to coaxial adapter. This makes the Hybe almost purpose-built to be stacked with something like the Cord Mojo. Add to this up to 19 hours of playback battery life and you have yourself a cute little player that delivers a lot. In fact, I was so impressed by what Hybe offers for this price point that I bought an R3 Pro Sabre just to test equipment in store with my own collection of music. As you can see, it comes in a few fun colors, including this neat little mint green. Now, if you were after extensive Android app support or a bigger display or higher power amplification or just overall better performance, that's when we would recommend looking at the higher models from Hy-Vee like the R5 Sabre, the R6 and the R8. We'll have a video up on those models soon, but in the meantime, let us know what you think of these. This is Lachlan from Minidisc TV and we'll see you next time.